All right, guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be going over the best team that I think that you can have an NBA 2K23 my team for just 100,000 MT. I know MT is hard to come by, and if you're just starting out, this video may help you. I feel it slipping. Okay, let's start this off right, all right, guys. So we're going to go for our point guard position starting. There are Ben Simmons out here, okay? There are just gigantic-ass point guards, which are very annoying. So even though we got 100K, 30% of it is going to go to this guy right here. All right, it's going to go to Denny. Denny is a small forward point guard. The only point guard eligible small forward point guard that is actually cheap comparatively to everybody else. He's around 30K. That is taking 30k of our profit. Denny is coming in at the point guard position. He's 6'9, can run a PG, basically just a Ben Simmons stopper. Now, Denny cannot run your offense. So we're gonna take another big chunk of our MT, which is gonna be 20k, and go get who we used to run our offense through in season two. Ricky is not the number one shooting guard anymore. He is like top 10 though. So we're gonna grab Ricky Davis. This is just base Ricky Davis. I, you know, mine has like a shoe and stuff like that, but Ricky Davis is still top 10 shooting guards in the game. Since you can still run your offense through him, that is going to be amazing to have. So we got our Ben Simmons stopper, our big point guard to cheese with on defense. And then we got our offense to be ran through through Ricky Davis. Now, that's 50K out of 100K profit. So that is tied in the first two cards in our lineup. So we're going to have to switch this up a little bit, all right? Now, we're going to start getting real, real budgety. For our small forward position, I do want to go with a lock, okay, just in case. They got two, you know, we're running against a God squad. They got T-Mac and Ben Simmons. We'll need to get ourselves a lot. So we're going to get ourselves an Andre Karolinko. Pink Diamond Andre Karolinko. He's going to be 8K. All right, 8K in the auction house. We're not too much rent. We're at 58K right now, which is not bad. Andre, so we can have Denny Garden, Ben Simmons, and Andre Garden, T-Mac. That'll, that'll definitely get us set up. That'll definitely get us right. Um, so seeing as we got our small fours all set up, Let's go to the pop forward position. I do want to make sure that our pop forward position can slash. It can dunk. Well, he can dunk. He can also play a little bit of defense. So I think I'm actually going to go with a center with this one. He's going to be a little bit undersized. I mean, he's going to have some great rebounding stats. And he's going to be able to move a little bit because he's undersized. He's, he's just going to have all the rim protected battles you need. Right? And that is going to be Christian Wood. Pink Diamond Christian Wood. Now, the, the Radiant Collection was kind of OP. A lot of their cards are nice. But Pink Diamond Christian Wood is coming in. He's going to be 6'10". If I can bring up his stat, I'm not going to do so. I'm going to leave it where it is. It's going to be 6'10". He has a really, really comparable jumper to Galaxy Opal Rudy Gay. I like his jumper better than Rudy Gay's just because it's faster, in my opinion. It's smoother. I don't got to hold it as long. But he does come with a lot of center badges at the pop forward position. So he can protect the room when you need it to be. Now we'll move on to our center position. This one can really go anywhere you want. But for me, I think the best thing you can get Within this 100K range, you know, you feel me? I'm trying to figure out what to do with the lineup because we're already at about 60-something K. I'm going to go with Mark Gasol, his pink diamond card. Mark Gasol, I can find him. Why did I type that instead of just Gasol? Gasol, if I can find Mark, he's around 10K in the auction house too. He used to be one of the best budget centers again. He was going for like 40, 50K. Now, time, a new season happened. He came out in season four. Season five happened. He's now 10K. He still can get the job done. Been a setup for a center that can shoot. You might not like his release. If you don't, you can swap him out for a little bit of a cheaper center. If you have um, the center, for, the current center from the Cavs in your collection, I do like his jump shot better. He's just gonna need some badges given to him to hold up, to hold up against things. Now I'm telling you, he's not gonna stop KP. He's not. He's not gonna stop Yao Ming. But on a budget, all we got is 100k to spend. He's gonna be your best bet at that center position. Now we're gonna work on our bench. We're gonna do this real quick. I don't want to hold your time up because we do got some highlights at the very end. Our bench point guard is gonna come from the Radiant Collection too. We're going with basically Stephen Curry's big brother. Yeah, we're going with Mike D'Antoni. The, the Mike D'Antoni has the fast release in the game. You guys know how I love this brother. Fast release. If you can get his release down, no one can contest your shot. No one can block it. When you're using my D'Antoni, it's really just the it's I'm I'm timing his joints right or I'm missing. If you lose, it's on you. It's not on them because you can't really block his shot. You can't. Like it's too fast to be contested. So my dad Tony's here. He's gonna be like my Swiss. He's gonna be my main score off the bench. I need to get the cooking. Now, 
if you don't like if you don't like his upper because it's the fastest you can slow it down and get like a diamond step carry or a pink diamond step carry if you want to that's really up to you but my dad told me has better badges so i'm going to use him next we're going to go with a season three uh season three fan favorite we're going to go with ding luau ding okay now we all know who luau ding is he got his card souped he was going for like 100k 100 100 200k when he first came out nice 5000 mt so i love to see it i love to see it there's not really much to say about him he's going to be a lock on our backup lineup and next, we're going to have another lock. We're going to go with Diamond Jonathan Isaac. If I can find that brother right here, Diamond Jonathan Isaac. He's around 4,000 MT. Everybody should have him because they gave him away for free just for 25 wins or 50 wins last season on Clutch Time. Most people play Clutch Time Motor to play Unlimited. I know I did just because, you know, don't worry about it. I did. I played Clutch Time Motor to play Unlimited. So I did have him in my collection already, and, but which is why he's only 4K on the auction house. But he's still good. He's still a really, really good card. 611 at the small four position. Dope. Can be another lock if you really need to. If you really need to hide Mike on the mic, just make them guard the point guard and the shooting guard. You're good. Now, we're almost done with this. We're gonna we're only doing a 10-man rotation here because we're on a budget. So we're gonna put gold cards at the very end. So at our pop for a position, we're gonna run with a new card. Like a new new card. We're gonna run with Jaden McDaniels. Now you can rock. Uh, you can switch back and forth between Jonathan, Jonathan Isaac and Jaden if you want to run if you want to run them at power forward or center with power forward or small forward it's up to you but I'm running Jaden McDonald's at the forwards because I like his jump shot a little bit better and I like to pick and pop with him now at the five we're gonna go with Jericho Sims we all know that Knicks nations love this brother and even in my team he's a good card to have if you're on a budget he's 4,000 MT now if I did my math correct this came out to 90,000 MT altogether and this should be the best lineup you can have. You got yourself a primary scorer in a starting lineup, a primary scorer in a starting lineup, a Ben Simmons deterrent, um, and Denny and Luau Ding. If they have T Mac or somebody else at the two that they can score through, switch Andre Karolinko from the small forward um, assignment to the shooting guard assignment. Most people like to run their offense through the shooting guard and the point guard, not the small forward. And similar thing with Jonathan Isaac, switch it on to the shooting guard assignment or point guard assignment. And you should definitely be able to hide. Um, Ricky and Dan Tony while you're hooping. But yeah, I think that's the best lineup you can get. Bye.